Hi, I'm Jessica with the Santa Paula Art Museum, and welcome to Art Club. Hi, welcome to Art Club. Today's art project is called Beautiful Accidents, and we're learning about warm and cool colors. And you're also learning what it means to be expressive in art. So going down the list of supplies, we're gonna use acrylic or tempera paints, pencil and a brush, water, and paper napkins for your project. Let's get started. This project is inspired by Helen Frankenthaler. She was an American artist. She loved to paint abstract images for her whole life. So we are learning a vocabulary word here and the word is abstract. Abstract means when details are taken out and you don't see lots of details and sometimes you don't even see anything you recognize. She was so good at making very interesting shapes and very interesting colors that seem to play together. So today we are going to try to also make interesting colors and shapes using a fun technique. Going down the list of materials we're going to need, you're going to need paper towels, pencil, paintbrush, your fresh water for painting, tempera or acrylic colors, and we'll go ahead and get started. We've got warm and cool colors. So we're going to draw an an irregular shape and you can just paint it anywhere on your paper I'm making sure that my paper is horizontal so you can start with using maybe a warm color I'm going to go ahead and make that irregular shape and just paint it in So you can just see I'm just making a shape with my brush and making sure that I'm painting with all the paint that's on the brush so that we're using all the paint and it creates a thin layer. Next up, I use green because they're complementary to red and if we mix both colors, red and green, we're going to get that neutral tone color we talked about. So you might end up getting like a brownish color. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I'm cleaning my brush so I don't dirty the colors on my palette. You can check this using your paper napkin. Just going to add a little more. So every time you add a little more green, you can add a little more red until you get that murky brownish color. And you can mix right onto the paper. If you have a little extra paint on your brush, you can just, or the paper, you can clean it off on the paper napkin like so. So I'm basically just scraping off any extra paint so that this layer of paint can just dry quicker. Okay, so the next step is to draw an irregular horizontal line. And I'm going to show you how you can make that horizontal line. You can make it straight, wiggly, or go up, any way you like that horizontal line. I went in with a blue, um, a cooler color. There we go. Now that I've painted that, I'm going to go in with a warm color. So the warm colors are yellow, red, and orange. And I'm going to paint the top right here. So some colors like yellow and red and orange we call warm colors. They don't really feel warm if you touch them, but they remind us of warm things like fire or sunlight, something that is glowing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use up all that paint that I grabbed from the palette 
and spread it around the, the paper on top. And you can scrub up and down or side to side, making sure that you're using all that paint. Use different techniques and just have fun with it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little more orange, as much as you need to, to get the layer, this paper filled up. Use as much paint as you need to fill up the space with the designated color. So for the warm orange color, I'm gonna make sure that that entire spot is painted. Then I'm going to go in with the second color for highlights. I'm going to use another warm color. So maybe thinking about using red or yellow to highlight the orange. And you can also mix them in together. I'm going to add in a little yellow. And I'm going to scrub it in or use light strokes on top of the color, very so lightly. Scrub up and down or maybe side to side, like so. Very good. This is adding interest and texture to our first warm color. And when you feel like it's good enough, we're gonna, we can move on to the next step, which is the next step we're going to paint in the bottom part with a cool color. Here I'm just making sure that my brush is completely cleaned off so that we can move on to the next color. So going over to my cool colors, we have some colors like green, blue, and purple, and we can call those cool colors. They don't really feel cool if you touch them, but they remind us of cool things like grass or water or ice, things that we know are actually cool. So I'm gonna go in with my blue. I feel it's perfect because it's complementary to orange. And I'm just going to lay down the color flatly so that we can get the whole paper filled. I'm going to use the other cool color, my, being my green, and I'm going to brush it in lightly again to add some interest to our color so that it gives it that texture to our first color. And you can mix them together. So again, I'm just having fun with the brush and mixing those in together and making sure that the paint is flat on our paper so it dries.
Great, so now we're going to tear holes on top of the first paper using a pencil or a paintbrush. You can see I'm going to poke my hole on the left side. I made sure that there's a little hole and make sure that you have your paper underneath. So a second piece of paper, but you're not gonna tear through that one, just the top one. So here, we're gonna go ahead and gently tear a little bit away from the hole, working outwards in a few directions and make sure to also fold over the pieces. Here I'm folding those pieces of paper, just so that my hole looks a little interesting. For the next step, we are going to paint the paper underneath so the underneath color shows through the hole we just made. You can paint over the part of the paper that's showing underneath in a cool color because we've chosen the warm color section. So this is going to show through the new hole. And you can use a color or two, maybe even mix them. Just be creative. Underneath here, I'm going to choose green and then maybe even mix it with a little yellow. See how brighter the color turns out? Let me see. And you can mix any colors you feel might be good for this piece. Looks good. So next up, we're going to create another tearing hole, our tearing hole number two. And you can decide where you want it. Is it going to be close to the first hole? Maybe farther away from the first hole? What's gonna look best for you? Go ahead and decide. We're gonna use our pencil again, and I'm going to put it in the cool section of our project. And I'm just gonna gently tear, like so. This is an art trick, so learning how to use accidents and unexpected things in your artwork. Just by tearing the paper, we're letting go of control of the outcome, and we're letting things happen in whatever way may happen. And they will take what happens and decide to make it beautiful. This is a great lesson in art. Even when things don't come out perfectly, they can always make them interesting and beautiful. And also, we are learning a new vocabulary word here, and that is expressive or expressionistic. Expressive means that you feel a lot of emotion when you look at it, because our brushwork was moving around a lot, and because our eyes can see how the paper was torn, we can feel those actions when we look at it, and it can stir up emotions in us. Like maybe we feel excited or energized or happy or curious. When an artwork is expressive, it makes us feel emotions. And with a warm color like yellow, um, we're gonna go ahead and paint the paper underneath our cool section. Right, so using your pencil again, you're going to gently tear a hole that runs across both the warm and cool colors. Paint the part of the paper that is showing underneath again in any color you're going to choose. It doesn't have to be a warm or a cool color, depending on um, the placement of the hole. Like in the warm area, you don't have to put a cool color, and in the cool color, you don't have to put a warm color. You can choose a mixed color or maybe a color you like. So then I'm just going to go in, maybe red because I haven't used red and it feels nice. So I'm just gonna fill up this hole with this color. I'm 
I'm just tearing a little more because I thought um, it would look nice to create kind of like that accident look and I'm just going with it. It's not planned, but it feels fun to tear that down. And now I can glue it down so that both papers stick together. Go ahead and glue down all the corners or any of the sides that you feel warped up from the paint and line them up and that will conclude our project. Make sure that you pinch them together like that and you're good to go. When you look at abstract shapes, does it make you think of anything? What kind of emotions come up when you look at it? What do you feel looking at your expressive work? I hope you enjoyed the project. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye!